This video demonstration is brought to you by the Crafts Channel in association with Dremel Hobby. Hi, my name is Kate Hemmings and I'm pleased to welcome you to part two of our special project video demonstration in association with Dremel. Hi Corinne. Hello Kate. We've been using the stylus um, to create a relief effect on wood. So we've got a monogram here. What I've done is I've rough sanded it with the barrel sander to take away the excess wood. And then I've smoothed the surface of the whole thing with a disc sander with a finer grade of sandpaper and just simply gone short strokes just to smooth it completely. Now, you can either use wood stain on this, but I found a very nice way of colouring wood and to give it, you know, you've got a, a, a bigger palette of colours, is just to use brush pens. Okay. So, just simply stroke it over. This is quite dark. Try not to overlap it because you will get a, a build-up of ink. Okay, I'm going to stroke this like this and I'm actually going to add a little bit of a lighter colour as well in there to blend, to blend it. it in with an apple green. That looks really nice. I wouldn't have thought of using brush markers. Well I mean I've got hundreds of them at home and, and you know the, the um, initial that I got there is done with brush markers and it just, you know, wood stain, you can get loads of colours of wood stain but this is a very cheap alternative. Um, and, and it, it still means looks that the world's. Good. Yeah, this is it. I'm just going to fan this colour out in the same way that the wood grain goes. I'm not going to colour the whole thing. Just to give an idea. Yeah, just to give an idea. What I want to show you is how you can get a nice effect, um, quite a subtle sheen to the wood, just with beeswax. Um, the monogram that I've done there has actually been uh, varnished, but beeswax works beautifully. And what you do is if you change your tip, and you pop in one of these strange affairs which has a screw tip on the end of it. Okay. And then you get a felt pad and that simply screws onto the screw tip so they're interchangeable. Like this. Screws on. If you get a block of beeswax and then just turn this on, if you rub the end in the beeswax, the friction will melt the beeswax onto the felt pad and then you can apply it quite roughly, and then when you want to polish it off, simply hold that the chuck lock, unscrew this side, and then screw it back the other end so you've got a clean piece to polish off the excess beeswax with. Let's see if you can screw it in. <laughs> okay. And then just polish the excess off. So you've got a nice, I don't know it's if you can see that, it's got a lovely sheen now. and you can see all the wood grain in there. It looks really rustic. Um, and then simply all I've done with these is just drill a hole in the top and thread some ribbon through. Um, if you colour the outside you can blend the colour so you've got a darker colour around the rim of it. It looks really nice, they really are, effective it's really simple. very simple. And as I say, if you can produce something decent like this on a piece of wood from your garden, then you can do anything. I mean there's a range of wooden boxes you can buy now and coasters and things like this. But start with something simple. Um, try and find something that's quite close grained. I wouldn't use balsa wood, I wouldn't use pine really either, um, because you, it, it, the end result won't be as nice. Um, but yeah, you can make some lovely rustic accessories for your house. That's what we've got time for here today, but for your nearest Dremel stockers, for the Dremel stylus and the full other range of Dremel multi-tools available, visit www.dremel.com. See you next time.